both hope and the future are slowly eroded. Caius plans to use the chaotic energy released upon the deaths of countless people to bring the flow of time to a grinding halt. As Sarah and Noel fight to save mankind, another battle is taking place on the distant shores of Valhalla. In a world where life and death are indistinguishable, Lightning and Caius lead their armies against each other in violent struggle. Who will emerge the victor? Lightning is dead. I killed her with my own hands. Your sister, she is the same as us. 
And so she is with us, always with us. Until time is destroyed, she will sleep with us. When the world ends, she will end with us. Let her go! She will melt into darkness, as we all will. Yes, you will share her fate. <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> Victory here even helped to set you free. I didn't know what would happen, and when the end finally came, I had none of the answers I needed, but I had no choice. All I could do was fight. Only one thing was certain. This was the war that would decide the future.
let my sister go. By what right do you demand her release? Sarah's death is your doing. I thought my actions would atone for my past. After washing up on the shores of Valhalla, I gazed through the eyes of Edra and witnessed the events of your age. It was a waking nightmare. Lives beyond counting, swallowed by chaos and vanishing into the void. Some of those souls had been enemies, dispatched to death's realm by my own hand. It was a tragedy I couldn't ignore. My path was set. I would remain in Valhalla and carry out the will of the goddess. The sorrows of the dead would be mine to bear. It would be my atonement. I was chained down by past sins, unable to move forward into the future. I needed you, Sarah. That's why I asked for your help. Sarah! No! It's up to you to keep hope alive. Lightning? For me, there is nothing. There is no hope. Sarah's death is your doing. At your bidding, she began her journey, and thus her life was lost. It was you. You are to blame for this doom. Years. You don't need them. No matter what future is waiting for us, I'll have no regrets. No matter what end we see coming, I won't change my mind. You knew. You knew what would happen. You taught me how to live my life. No matter what. We shouldn't give up hope. Sarah. I believe in you. You'll keep the future of this world safe. So it's okay. I don't mind if I'm gone. Sarah! I have no regrets. None at all. I chose to start my journey because I wanted to see you again. But there was a reason I decided to keep going. It was a promise I made to myself. It's okay, Lightning. I never 
never gave up hope. And now here we are. Just keep me in your thoughts. Remember me, and we'll see each other again. No matter what happens to me, even if I vanish from this world, promise me, Lightning. Promise you'll remember me. forget. I promised you that. Even if I stand to lose everything, I'll preserve your memory for the tomorrows yet to be. Come what may, I could breathe my last breath and the world be crumbling into oblivion. There are ways to keep a thought alive, and I know one that works for sure. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. These thoughts that live within my heart, they will endure the passing of eons. If they can one day be the light that guides Sarah's soul back to me. If we can laugh together just one more time, left to wish for. The gods' tales are woven in crystal. The tale of Benevelza, the slumbering god, bearing witness to an eternal dream. The tale of Etro, the goddess drowning in a sea of chaos. Etro bestowed upon humans a gift. Though unseen, that gift, it lies within us all. It is a constant turmoil of light and darkness, strength and frailty, beauty and unsightliness. That gift is our spirit. It gives us the strength we need to persevere in hardships. But at times, it is nothing but a curse, straying beyond our control, causing us pain and sorrow. Even so, it is something far too precious to lose. It is what allows me to hold hope for the future. In a world consumed by chaos, in a world where spirits are fading, I ask myself, have I the strength to embrace my gift? For now, I sleep, my dreams everlasting. It is here that I await the end of eternity. And the day I awaken once again.